Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fotland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. We sometimes don't use that talking command that much in battle. I'm looking at that thing. I know, I see. That was only in the tutorial. Probably. Okay, now what are we gonna do here? That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Oh, no. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Father. That's nice of you. <laughs> Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. She's I'll be in my out. office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. What is causing what is making me dizzy? Okay. We're not gonna auto strike like that.
dingen hangen. The dude deserved to be in the next Fire Emblem Black Banner. I do not know uh, why I'm telling you all of this. Have a banner. To be honest, he's a good man. There is little to tell. But if you are from Fodlan, you must know what became of the people of Dusker. The people who betrayed their allies from Fargus. The ones who were punished for regicide. The Dusker are shunned for their crimes. Even now be in your interest not to spend any more time around me than necessary. His Highness is an exception, but to be completely candid, it pleases me to be able to speak with you like this. If you truly do not mind, I would be glad to receive more visits from you in the future. Sure. Sad. No matter what, nothing. We can't let nothing happen. Okay, what's going on now? I see. So you'll be staying here for some time then. Honestly, that was merely because of the financial situation of my oh, territory. This guy. I assure you it has nothing to do with my dedication to the church. By the way, Dimitri, isn't Edelgard currently enrolled at the Officers Academy as well? Yes. I She's in the Black Eagle House. I don't believe she has any plans to leave anytime soon. Why not pay her a visit? I may do just that. It's nice to stay in touch with my dear niece every now and then. Of course, I'm also delighted that I was able to speak with my nephew as well. Whether through marriage or otherwise, family is family after all. Of course. The feeling is mutual. Poor Dimitri, man. Professor, if you were watching, you should have made your presence known. That was Lord Arendelle, the regent for the Empire. He is also Edelgard's uncle. Some uncles are suspicious. My stepmother was his younger sister. We are not... Yes. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Edelgard and I are siblings by marriage. We can delve into that topic another time. For now, let's make preparations to investigate what's happening in that village. Right. Oh dear, the princess of the Empire and the kingdom's prince are kin. How very odd. Harbor knowledge they do not wish to share. Oh yes, I'm sure of it. But I suppose we must wait until the time of truth arrives. In any case, about this Arendelle. You've heard that name before, correct? Quite true. We came.
came across that name within the library, right where the prince had been. I thought that Arundel had died. And yet, not so. He seems alive and well. I wonder what the prince had hoped to learn from reading of his uncle's charity. So many things the prince has yet to tell. How bothersome. Something suspicious. This is suspicious. off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility, to some extent. But, the territory we watch over is poor. It's harvest meager. And our noble blood, too, has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. Crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry into a greater noble family, that financial support could soothe our woes. Thank you, Professor. Your sentiment alone is a great comfort to me. Despite my own feelings, I understand his approach to all this. It isn't that he doesn't care for me. I understand. I apologize, Professor. I must be going. Poor Ingrid. We are fun with the students. Much appreciated. Let's be quick about this. All right, let's do this. How do you like that?